Did you know that Chargent can automate your subscription billing and save your accounting team time by automatically processing regular payments all inside of Salesforce? In this video, you will learn how to set up and automate your recurring billing using Chargent's Payment Console. We'll also cover other considerations of recurring billing automation, like sending account update requests for customers to update their payment information, and how to handle failed recurring payments. My name is Stacy, and I'm from Chargent. If you are a Salesforce admin or consultant who wants to learn about payments to be a superstar for your organization, then you are in the right place. Okay, let's get started. Chargent's robust recurring billing feature allows you to set up scheduled payments for whatever frequency you need. This can be annually, monthly, or one of eight frequencies, including bi-monthly or semi-annual. You can even schedule a one-time payment for a future date. You can also set your payments to be unending or specify a stop either after a certain number of payments, save for installments payments. One can also use a specific end date that you have agreed upon in a contract. Once you have the Charge It Anywhere component installed on the object of your choice, you will use the Payment Console to set up your recurring billing. We should note here that Payment Console is available only in the platform and above subscriptions. While we are noting things, I want to share something with you. We've made a special checklist for you on 10 ways to make Salesforce payments safe, easy, and profitable. So check that link in the description below. Step one, enter the billing information. To begin, press the Payment Console button. You will be prompted to enter the customer's billing information, such as the name, address, phone number, and email address. Some of this can be automated, but that's for another video. The main note I will make here is that you can map the account field and the contact field that you want Chargent to pull this information from using the component configuration. See the video we linked at the end to check that out. Step two, select the recurring status, enter the amounts and the credit card information. Clicking the continue button will bring you to the screen where you first select the recurring option. Then enter in the credit card information and billing amounts. You can do a one-time payment today and schedule the remainder of the payments, or you can just schedule all the payments to be automatic in the future. Step three, set up the recurring schedule. Click next and you're ready to set up the recurring billing schedule. First, select the frequency. Monthly, quarterly, and annually are the most common, but you can set it to process payments for whichever frequency you want. The next automatic payment date determines when the first automated charge will be processed. And finally, the stop rule allows you to set when the recurring payments should end. This can be set to a specific end date, a count of successful transactions, meaning the number of approved charge transactions that occur, or when the balance due is met. For subscriptions, set it to unending, which allows payments to continue processing until you manually set it to stop. The fixed day of the month allows you to process payments on a specific day of each month. This is very important if you have any late payments. Think of this as the tuning fork that keeps your cash coming in predictably on the same day each month. Step four, preview the recurring schedule and start processing the payments. Clicking the next button will give you a quick preview of the billing schedule. To begin the recurring billing, just click the bottom, which will either say start recurring billing or charge one time amount and start recurring billing. That's it. You have now successfully set up a recurring billing schedule using Chargent Anywhere. Now, what happens when a payment fails? It would be great if we lived in a world where transactions never declined and all payments were received without doing any collections. The good news is, is Chargent also has several great features to help automate your collections process. Account Updater. Chargent's Account Updater feature will help prevent declines before they even happen. Chargent's Account Updater works with payment requests and can automatically send an email when a credit card is about to expire. This allows you to manage your billing before a decline transaction happens without missing a beat. Some folks call this pre-dunning, or in other words, stopping a collection process before it starts. Automated Collections. Chargent's automated collections feature automates your dunning process. 
Our collection system sends your customer a payment link, which allows them to make their payment. When a payment fails, the process you define in our toll will trigger retries and send your custom written collections emails on a cadence that you define. Our automated system handles all of the hard work, ensuring that your team only has to manage the edge cases. Chargent's automated collections feature will streamline your entire collections process. All you need to do is set up each stage to create a collections campaign that determines how frequently an email is sent after a failed attempt, how frequently the transaction should be attempted again, and the duration of the automated collections campaign. You can use your own email templates for each stage and include a payment request link allowing you to automate your collections process. This will save you valuable time reclaiming decline charges. Chargent can help automate your recurring billing and save you hours of time with collections by preventing and following up on decline charges. And now check out this next video where you will learn how to set up Salesforce billing payment gateways with Chargent. I will see you over there. My name is Stacy, and at Chargent, we're dedicated to helping Salesforce customers like you keep your payments simple. And remember, we're always here to help.